everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're going to take a look at a CRKT knife. Uh, this is the Shinbu knife, and it's another one in the line uh, that CRKT is making of, of you know, Japanese fighting knives uh, that have a sort of a samurai design to them. Uh, you may be familiar with the Hisatsu. I did a review on the folding Hisatsu. Uh, the uh, CRKT also makes the Hishu which is a larger version of this, and then, of course, this, the Shinbu. It comes in this wooden presentation box, which is very nicely done, I must say. Uh, it, it has the, the Shinbu uh, lettering there and, and logo. It's got the brass hardware. It's lacquered all around. It, it has feet here on the, on the bottom, uh, you know, it's just nicely executed. It's a very nicely done box, a great presentation box. Opens up. Ta -da. Look at that. Absolutely a beautiful knife. There you go. Let's take a look at that. Hmm. I'll give you the specs. That is a nine and one quarter inch blade. It is made uh, with YK30 steel. That's a high carbon steel. The blade is flat ground to a zero edge. I looked at this edge under a magnification and I couldn't see a secondary bevel. If there's one there, it's extremely narrow. Uh, the Rockwell hardness is 57 to 59. The overall length is 14.75 inches. The weight is 13.3 ounces. It does come with a Kydex sheath for carry. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But you can see, uh, you know, this is this is this is looks like a, a you know, it's got kind of the samurai curve and and the. The Japanese Tanto is different from the, the Western Tanto, which has more of a sort of a, a corner here at the front. Uh, you know, the Japanese Tanto is more of a, a smoother sort of a trailing point, uh, more graceful, I guess. Uh, it's, it's, great. it's great for slashing. Uh, obviously, it was made as a, a fighting knife, fighting sword. It's, this is an in-between knife and sword, very much like the Wakazashi, which is the short fighting sword. This is a little bit sh shorter than a Wakazashi, but the, the Hishu is probably more along the lines of that. But to me, this is just a, this is a great length. That's just a, I mean, I can't imagine wanting a blade much longer than that. Uh, but that is, I think it's a great balance. Uh, it's a great, great uh, in, in between size. Um, the blade and the knife itself designed by John Williams he or James Williams I'm sorry he works with CRKT and he uh, you know he is uh, he was a former army officer and he's been a martial arts student and an expert for 45 years uh, knife designer uh, you know he knows his stuff and he put this together specifically as a for a military use knife. Uh, this isn't designed just for you know sitting in a box or hanging on a wall or you know sitting in one of those stands. Uh, this this was designed as a military use knife, and and it I think it certainly would serve well in that. You know, I mean, uh, our Western sensibilities are accustomed to seeing more of a, a, a straight knife with a, a cross guard and you know maybe some saw teeth on it you know but you know I mean the more I get used to holding and working with this knife the more I can see this would be a very excellent choice you know the 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 tip is just like a needle this would penetrate armor it the slashing is you know I mean that just speaks for itself uh, this would be an and strength the, the, the knife retains its strength all the way out to the tip. There you, you can see it doesn't it doesn't narrow much. So that's that's got a strong, sharp tip. It's got a thick, thick blade. 
So it's a very strong knife. Oh, that's that's really nice. That's really nice. Shinbu is it's Japanese for for military might, and um, you know, I, I for you students of of Japanese philosophy, you know, it, it carries even more more of a notion than than just brute strength, but it also comes with the idea of um, you know, uh, uh, it has a spiritual type of significance, and and it's it's the idea of of a divine warrior, you know, a, 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 a warrior who is is uh, perfect in in his in strength and in fighting skills, but is also uh, you know chivalrous and and has a lot of valor and uh, is you know it's a, a whole balance between the the mental and the physical and the spiritual and uh, that type of thing. Uh, the knife has a full tang all the way in there and the handle is certainly something to get to talk about I it has a it's a cord wrapped ray skin and that ray skin I really like that I love that ray skin it's it's great not only for the look but it's an extremely durable material as well you can see that in there that pebble pebble look in there that's the ray skin down in there stingray and it, that, that is an extremely uh, durable and tough material. The wrapping across it is just, I mean, it's so tight. I can't bend it or budge it or I can't compress it at all. It's like wood. And, and look at the serpentine kind of a grip that that provides. I mean, that is absolutely a superior grip. No matter where you grab that knife, you're going to have a great grip. It's got like a serpentine or a corrugated type of a look to it. So you can see, you know, I mean, it's got an oval cross section, so it's not going to it's not going to twist in the hand. And then it's got that kind of a grip on it, so it's not going to it's not going to slip back and forth in the hand. You've got a that's just great. And like I was saying, that cord wrapping is on there very tightly. I mean, if you wanted to untie that, you'd be you'd be picking at it for a long time. Uh, that's not going to come undone. Very functional, very aesthetic. Take a closer look at that blade. There's the Shinbu name. It's got a, it's got a couple of fullers there on this side. And then up to that fearsome tip. CRKT, there's Shinbu there in Japanese. Yeah. Very nice. Really nicely done. It's it's functional, strong, beautiful. I mean, everything you'd want. It does come with a Kydex sheath, and that is a multi-position carry sheath. At least, I mean, it, in, at least in the sense that you can carry it. Uh, there, it has the belt, a belt loop there, and that is a hard-sided, of course. The you know, that's that's the hard-sided sheath molded to the blade shape. It does have the these webbing slots. Uh, it does have the a belt carry there you would actually have to thread the, the belt through there or you've got you know this this pressure clasp here and you could attach it you know that way and and that way you would have a you know a quick release if you wanted to carry it that way it could be carried upside down under the armpit it certainly would would work that way well uh, it does it does lock in with a you know a, a friction lock there or a, a pinch point at the the top. So there you go. Wide shot of that. Now the knife when it arrives it comes with a heavy coating of grease on the blade and so it, you gotta you gotta clean that off. Uh, but there's the there it is. 
That's the CRKT Shinbu. Really high quality, excellent knife. If you're a fan of the, the Japanese uh, knives, that's one you're probably going to want to get a get a look at. Comes in a very nicely executed box and a Kydex sheath. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.